Hello everybody and welcome back to another Techno Tokyo Theater video. Today, it's a bit of a sad episode, alright? We're having a funeral. Farewell for loot anime. The, my last box was supposed to be my last box, or so I thought. Apparently, I did have one more left. So, uh, good or bad, doesn't really matter. It's not going to hold any real weight towards my decision on, on uh, you know, keeping this subscription service. It's it's pretty much over, you know, at this point in time. Um, so yeah, let's get this, let's get this death over with, man. Uh, let's get into it. Oh, fuck, but this shirt looks fucking fire, dude. Damn. Damn. I mean, that is a pretty badass shirt, dude. I mean, and the yellow? I mean, and that fucking yellow, though. Crispy, man. That is fucking crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. I mean, very, very nice. I mean, to go out on a bang. Going out on a bang with this joint, man. Because this joint is very nice indeed. I really like the actual yellow complexion of the shirt. I actually bought this item before I was even subscribed. I saw it was exclusive to the loot crate and I went out to get it. Like 20, 25 bucks or some shit, which is the price of a box at that time. Uh, so, here we are, 20 boxes later, and uh, full of regrets. <laughs> but uh, most of the boxes have been have been good. I'm not going to say that all the boxes have been bad. A uh, large portion of them have been good. So, here we go. We have our manga. All right, so here is a manga from the ancient Magnus Bride. I've actually... Heard this anime is supposed to be pretty good. Um, looking forward to uh, watching it, but I haven't started yet. So we're gonna glance through this kind of quickly. We don't want anything to be spoiled, but in case you guys wanted to see some of the artwork, I'm gonna give you a chance to check it out. So there you go. And this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Whenever that's the case, it's generally for the cover art. That's mainly what's exclusive about these mangas. Uh, so I mean, I suppose if you're a manga collector, this might be a good subscription service for you. Though I am not recommending it. As you can see, I'm canceling my subscription. So yeah, the licensing to get this Fuli Cooly item must have been very costly because I feel like there's nothing but paper left in this box. It, that's how little content has must be remaining. But let's stay optimistic here. Oh fuck! There's a hat in here. It's a little bit uh. It's a very tiny hat, but it actually goes pretty damn well with the shirt. If you look at the complexion of it, the shirt and the hat actually make a pretty damn good set. And this is from Monster Hunter Stories, dude. Not a bad little hat. It's a little bit more flimsy compared to the hats we traditionally get uh, in these crates. But uh, a shirt and a hat are generally two things that I, I hope to get whenever I, um, you know, subscribe to, to, to the service. Shirts, hats, and figures are the main draw for me they always have been so now i'm giving you guys a look of it a uh, hat on the camera here a close-up camera um this is the back of it is actually is from the monster hunter stories game ride on i don't know is this a sequel or what that is brown hat is great uh very simplistic concept and i kind of like these hats that are a bit more like flimsy looking <laughs> there looks like it's no life to this hat man but I, I actually kind of like these ones that are a little bit more form-fitting to your to your head. All right, so literally one item left, and then of course the poster and a pen and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what's good. Uh, uh, oh, uh, what the fuck? Was there only three items in here? Oh, hold on. No, this is this is an item. I think it looks like it's it's a poster, but. So I was right, apparently the last item is actually a piece of paper. I thought this box felt surprisingly light. Uh, but it, uh, surprisingly enough, this is actually one of the nicest items I've received here. I wish I was a bigger fan of the anime that it's representing. Um, Cause this is Magical Girl Nanaho. Or Nanaho. Nanaha? In any case, I've, I've bought a couple of figures from this series, but before that I never even knew this series existed. So I, I got a feeling that this particular anime is popular within a certain group but it's not widely popular you know what i mean and uh, and this is the kind of first anime item we've gotten in this box that 
I don't think a lot of people are gonna know the source material for because we generally generally focus on popular animes. And it's called it says cells at work on here, and I do not think that's a part of any kind of particular anime. I think this might be an original pen. Most of the pens we've been getting is from animes, but I think this has to do with art. Maybe that's the theme of this this box because we got the rough sketch over here. We got this right here that uh, says cells at work. I really don't understand the theme to this box, but we're gonna find out shortly. And this is one of the nicer pens. You can actually see what the hell is on the pen for a change. Unfortunately, it is still this ugly square shape. And they gotta get away from that, man. All these pens are these weird ass squares and rectangles, and I don't really understand why. They gotta mix it up a little bit, man. All right, and we are ending with a Fooly Cooly poster. Ha ha! I mean, I already have a poster over here on the wall. You, you probably can't see it from where the camera is angled. But, uh. Let's go ahead and get this this little little thing out of here, man. Let's get a good look at it. <laughs> so the theme is alternate universe, which literally could have been anything. Um, okay, uh, this is this is a uh, this is a beautiful poster for one. That's what we're supposed to be looking at. Uh, this is very nice. Yeah, so I, I'll definitely be using this. I was looking at the items on the back uh, here, and I realized that you actually not only can you get a bunch of different art prints here which is kind of cool uh you can also get two different hats so they've started to add a little bit of variety into the crates now which has been a long time coming so at least you can feel special when you get something you really want or more upset when you get something that you don't want well guys and gals that is going to do it for uh loot anime not just this video but just loot anime in general um i actually haven't canceled my subscription yet but they don't think they charge me until the fourth so today is the first, and I'm going to go ahead and do my cancellation today. day. I got to do some other stuff too, like sign up for uh, this convention that I was supposed to sign up for yesterday, but uh, whatever. I'll take care of it today. So yeah, that is it. And uh, this was actually one of the better boxes. It definitely was better than the last two or three that we've gotten, but it is not good enough to redeem this service, unfortunately. Uh, I can't, I can't, like, the, the service is just too inconsistent. And if I'm being completely honest, um, half of the reason why I'm even subscribed to it is so that I can, uh, to, to, to collect a bunch of giveaway items for you guys. Because I like to do giveaways here on the channel. I don't do them often, but we will be doing a giveaway, um, within the next month or two for the anniversary of the channel. As far as a farewell loot box, this was a pretty good one, so... It's a pretty good way to end uh, a, a service that I've been subscribed to for almost two years. This is my 20th box, I think. That's a long time, man. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this uh, Techno Tokyo Theater video. And uh, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. I want you for a long